Hey, hello, your second trial with Wolf Gordon. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at the Toronto Raptors and user behavior analytics. Toronto Raptors, right? They won. They won the NBA. I am not the most sporty of people. I may have messaged my wife to say, is it the Stanley Cup? Is that basketball? I mean, it's it, it, it might have happened. <laughs> but even I know that uh, that they won, which is fantastic. So I had soft with them. I remember back in the 90s where they had those ugly, ugly jerseys, right? The ugly jerseys with the stripes and the dancing basketball playing dinosaur. One of the things I did not realize about that until recently listening to the podcast 99% Invisible. So after this, you may want to check out the podcast for the full story. But one of the things I did not realize is that jersey was actually technologically impossible in the 80s or in the 70s. Because before then, they would, you know, hand stitch all the design. And more stitches meant more weight. And more weight and stitching material meant more heat. And more heat and more weight on a basketball player means poor performance. The exact opposite of what you'd want from a jersey. In 1990s, right, they started creating these crazy jerseys. And the technology that made them possible was this technique called dye sublimation. The ability to spray on dye right into the fabric, right? dye sublimation, new tech that made possible new jerseys that actually, starting with the Raptors and then swept across the NBA with all these really weird jersey styles, right? This is a really cool time to be alive, the 90s. The 90s were a special time. <laughs> and what does that have to do with technology? The tip for you is this. You need to be very careful and very aware when the materials you're working with in security changes, when the techniques you're working with in security changes, when changes occur, these inflection points, like dye sublimation and the 1990s jerseys starting with the Raptors, these inflection points happen. And what becomes possible is an entire array of new techniques and tactics that was heretofore impossible. For example, there are new techniques, of course, coming out with analytics. There's new techniques coming out with, um, you know, data processing. There's new techniques coming out with better sensors on our networks and our applications and our devices. So more data points, more sensors, better analytics, better analysis, better reporting. And this seems like just a gradual shift, but I would argue to you, it's as important to the technology as dye sublimation was to jersey material. We're going to create this, uh, and we're going to reach, rather, this inflection point where all of a sudden UEBA can be injected into anything. And when that happens, you're going to see UEBA uh, on a variety of different techniques, uh, software packages on your network devices, on your phones, on the devices that do your SSL, and the devices that do your MFA. When UABA begins to be spread across all those things, what used to be very difficult, what used to be very time consuming, buying this very expensive, heavy duty UABA uh, dedicated products and platform sets, right, would be the equivalent of hand stitching on all the design onto a basketball jersey. It just doesn't make sense. And when we free ourselves of that constraint, we now can have much, much richer information as to who's doing what, where, when, and why. And the old way of uh, analyzing things, do they log on, do they log off? Do they click on things or not? The old way of analyzing things now becomes richer. And the old ways of acting on things, do I trust you because you're in a user group? Do I trust you because you're plugged into a network? Go away, because now we've got real true signals of trust based on what people are doing, based on their behaviors, based on the patterns that before now, a few years ago, a decade ago, would have been absolutely impossible to see. So what's going to be your dancing dinosaur jersey moment? Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.